everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you through the Juicy Couture range of perfumes. I have just uploaded a Viva La Juicy perfume range review. There were so many Juicy Couture perfumes that I've decided to split them up into two videos. So this is covering everything except Viva La Juicy and I will leave the link to the Viva La Juicy specific video um, up above and down below because there were nine different types of Viva La Juicy and yeah the video is just going to be way too long. If you're new here then welcome to my channel it's all about perfumes and um, do subscribe and check out some of the links below I have loads of different perfume reviews, perfume ranges, perfume note videos all about the perfume. So without further ado let's get into it because there are quite a lot in this range. So I thought I'd just start off with the Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture like signature named perfume that came out 2006 and um, this is not at all like a lot of the other Juicy Couture perfumes in that it's quite a uh, floral fragrance it's not overly sweet like a lot of them are and I think if you were wearing this on someone probably the last thing that would have come to your mind is that it's a Juice Couture fragrance so it definitely has like a really strong following of people that wear it and like it's kind of like an unexpected one like no one is going to be picking up this up and trying it because I think there's a preconception that all Juice Couture perfumes are very sweet. Most of them are, but this one isn't. So it's a white floral perfume, it's tuberose and lily. Yes, there is some like caramelly notes underneath and like a creme brulee type vanilla. But in this perfume for me, those notes make it warm, but it still comes across as predominantly like a white floral, very feminine, almost traditional perfume. And you know, the bottle is probably the least colorful, least embellished out of all of them. And I think that really reflects that this is quite a subtle, classy fragrance. There is a flanker, which is Couture La La. This is like a fresh, zesty green apple, completely different to the original. This is like the sort of younger, um, fresher, summer version of Couture's like sophisticatedness. So it's apple and orange, citrusy fresh, and then there's some lily in the valley in there, which is kind of like a nod to the white florals of the original Juicy Couture fragrance, but this is very much like a fresher version. There is then Juicy Couture La La Malibu, which again is like a summer version. It's orangey, but then it's almost got like a musky and a sugary note in it. It's quite a complex one. And I think this is like the most fun out of the three. It's really um, like a mandarin, orange rather than like a plain orange and just makes me feel like very summery. So Juicy Couture then has some um, much deeper almost aromatic offerings in the Juicy Couture shaped bottle range. So glistening amber is exactly what it says on the tin. It's predominantly an amber fragrance, but then it's really incense as well. So really think about walking around a, a sort of warm country with lots of incense in the air, um, very different to their other perfumes. It's quite warm in that it's got cashmere and musk in, and mixed with that incense, it just becomes like a big incense-y hug. So definitely one for incense fans. Usually incense since perfumes are quite expensive, but you can usually get this one at a decent price, so it's a good option. If you're looking for something that's like incense-y, but you don't want to spend too much, and it's still like a fun and juicy couture. In that same range, there's then Majestic Woods, which is exactly what it says. It's really woody, woody perfume. But then they've mixed the woodiness with praline and tonka beans to make it that signature Juicy Couture sweetness. So sort of imagine a wood fire perhaps um, while you're toasting marshmallows on it. So it's still deep and very woody like being outside in a wood but you still got that nod to the sweetness which makes it Juicy Couture fragrance. Then lastly in this range we have Royal Rose, which is like an incense sweet rose. So imagine you were um, you having an incense that would have like a rosiness to it. So it's like that deep um, syrupy rosiness, but the incense is absolutely coming through and dominating. So it is more incense than it is rosy in my opinion. And it's certainly not like a fresh rose. It's like a syrupy, burny incense rose. 
So moving on to Couture Couture, this is predominantly a plum perfume and that's where we get our fruity and sweetness to the per to the fragrance. But then that's then mixed with some nice white florals, jasmine, honeysuckle, and then in the base we've got amber and we've got woody sandalwoody notes. So this is relatively strong. It has that bit of sweetness, but it's all predominantly comes across like a white floral to me once it's dried down. So probably more similar to original Juicy Couture Eau de Parfum in that sense. And another one that's been around for a really long time. This came out in 2009. In 2015, we got two new Juicy Couture fragrances. So, so firstly, I am Juicy Couture. This is like a tropical passion fruit. Think like a passion fruit martini or like a cocktail. Sweet raspberry mixed in with the passion fruit. And then there's some slight fragrance notes like a sweet pea. And then a musky rose in the base. But predominantly, like this is not as sweet as a lot of the other perfumes. It's more like fruity, tropical, fresh. Um, I really like it. I think it's good for summer. You could wear this like to the beach or on a really hot evening and it'd be really like fruity and fun. We've then got I Love Juicy Couture which came out around the same time. So this is like a tart red currant with a sort of candy apple. So imagine um, bonfire night in the UK or I think candy apples are Halloween in a lot of countries as well. Like that, the apple in it, the fruitiness of the apple but coated in like a caramel. What's really nice about this is it has patchouli in so that makes it quite a modern fragrance. A lot of the new modern fragrances from YSL or G Jimmy Choo, you know, they've all got patchouli in. So this fits in quite nicely in those typical kind of like a black opium type smell. It's fruity, it's sweet, it's patchouli with a little bit of muskiness, like a very typical woman's perfume of the 2010s. We then have Peace, Love and Juicy Couture and in true sort of like hippie style, this is a green perfume. It reminds you of being outside. It's got hyacinth in it. It's got loads of different green notes. It's got some like fresh zestiness. It's got jasmine in here and like cassis. So you get lots of sort of green and white floral notes and then a little bit of sweetness. But predominantly to me, this is like a fresh green sweetness and um, definitely the most green out of all the Juicy Couture fragrances. More recently we've had Juicy Couture Oui, which I guess means yes in French, and this is a watermelon fragrance and uh, with a fair amount of pear in there as well. So again, definitely like summer vibes, very fun, very innocent, you know, not that many watermelon fragrances around. Then we have like a musky woody base, bit of honeysuckle um, that kind of make it a bit more grown up. But in the first sort of minute, you're going to get a lot of watermelon, a lot of pear. And then as they die down, it's going to become a little bit more typical floral um, perfume, but still with that sort of sweetness that comes with watermelon. And then lastly, there are two fun um, Eau de Toilette perfumes that were released in 2017. So Ra Ra Rouge is like a pineapple pina colada type and um, fresh. I think this would be lovely as a, like a body mist to carry around in your bag. It's quite a convenient shape. Um, like really fresh, really fun, not particularly long lasting because it's an Eau de Toilette, but um, a bit of a break from the intense sweetness of some of the other Juicy Coutures. And then it's Companion, which is pretty in purple is m a bit more like a floral woody musky one a bit more um demure perhaps this would be good for like autumn winter and then the other one would be spring summer or you could sort of mix and match but they're quite different and um not purple purple always makes me think it's going to be like lilac or lavender it's not it's more like musky purpleness um but good for someone who likes floral whereas Ra Ra Rouge is someone who likes more tropical fruity perfume so that is my rundown of all the Juicy Couture perfumes. Let me know if you have any of these. I'd love to know what you think or if you've worn them in the past or if you didn't know they existed. And I'll leave a link to all where you can buy all of these down below so you can go check them out as I do in all my perfume reviews. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of the same and I'll see you again soon. Bye.